So, good morning. This is going to be kind of an introductory video to my YouTube channel. Here's my 63. Um, I have some videos on TikTok of this thing, and this will kind of be the main product to the channel um, as we get money to work on this thing. You know, it, it needs a lot of work, so... We got all of our cushions and shit in here right now just because it's been raining so much lately. Um, trying to keep everything nice and dry for the, the backyard. But this is this is it. It's a small block 355. Ignore the flip valve covers. When I bought the truck last year, he had it that way, and I just haven't gotten around to fixing it. And I've got a lot of videos. Well, not a lot, but a couple videos of this truck running. It did run. Um, I bought this thing for $5,200, and honestly, it was kind of a steal the frames in really good shape and the body's in really good shape too this was all intentionally done patina and it's not even clear coated there's not too many spots where there's body filler there's not really any spots at all that are rusted out so it it wasn't too bad so i'll be linking uh my tiktok and to my youtube channel and just kind of have them tied together so there will be probably more fill-in content on TikTok on YouTube. I'm going to try and make videos of um, the actual work that's being done to it, whereas TikTok, you know, I'll just kind of tell you what was done and what's next. But I'll just kind of give you a rundown of the setup. Um, it's a 355 small block Chevy. I think you said it's just slightly bored over. This was originally a motor built for uh, Midwest dirt track racing. The Holly 4150 uh, 650 CFM double pump carb with a fuel log on it. And then not much is done. I don't know the cam specs on this, but it is a comp cams, uh, street and strip, same with the carb setup. And then it was on mechanical uh, fuel pump, but we just made the switch last weekend to an electric fuel pump and we're trying to get everything squared off here. This isn't the final product. We just needed to get the thing mounted and uh, see if it'll work for us, which by no surprise, we, we're going to end up needing a pressure regulator because that thing doesn't deadhead fast enough for the carb not to overflow. And I don't actually know if this is standard. Jesus. Uh, for dirt track cars, but it does have a two-speed power glide in it. So it's just reverse, neutral, high and low, or one and two, whatever you want to consider it to be. Um, it does work pretty well, in all honesty. And then it has a 3500 stall torque converter. So I'd like to go to maybe a little bit lower stall torque converter, and then maybe a three-speed power glide with the setup that actually looks a lot better than this, hopefully ratchet system. I kind of want to keep the stock dash, but I do want to try and drop this down a little bit and implement a touchscreen radio, you know, because I'm, I'm a Gen Z, got to have my tech. And then clean up a lot of the interior, probably either different wheel or... Um, do something with this wheel to try and make it look a little more modern-ish. And then I would like a full center console. And the whole interior is going to be sound dead end. I still need to get a windshield because a huge crack on it. And I got a real big thing for cowhide seats like out of the older King Ranches. Um, I've been trying to find because there's a few trucks out there that were Chevy and GMC Remington edition that had cowhide seats. Um, I was hoping to be able to find a set of those to put in this and maybe steal some interior components too, but yeah, I haven't had good luck. You can barely even find photos of them on the internet. So there's a little bit of work to do in here. And then the next clip, I'll be talking about the fuel cell because I really don't like the in-cab fuel tank. The next kind of big thing is going to be, um, get that pressure regulator going. We're still kind of trying to choose uh, a regulator to go with, but more than likely, it looks like we're gonna be going with a Aeromotive um, with return line, even though it's not entirely necessary. And we'll be cutting up the bed here soon. 
um, to put in a fuel cell. And I really want to go with AN fitting braided lines all the way up, everything. Just, it's not necessary because this truck would only be running like six PSI, but I just would prefer braided lines more than, uh, you know, rubber three eighths lines. It's not that I don't trust them, but I guess I just don't trust them. And then uh, bed will be cut up. Tubs are going to be going in, uh, hopefully before the end of this year. I want to get moving on this, and if these videos get any traction, then we'll be moving on this a lot more. I can spare the extra extra cash just to be able to produce videos that people would actually consider watching. But I get, I'll show you guys the wheels I have coming for this. Well, I have for it. So these are the wheels that'll be going on it, at least for the time being. Um, they're American racing wheels. I don't know the model number. I got them off of a buddy. He had them on a 72 or 73 Chevelle and the price was right. So we just went ahead and bought them off of him. Now the main reason that these wheels aren't on the truck already is, uh, they're too big for the rear wheel wells. It will hit the well on the inside and the lug patterns. This is a five by four and three quarter or five by five set. It's dual pattern. My truck still has the factory axles and spindles on it. So it's a six by five and a half. And I also have drop springs for the truck. So we're kind of waiting once the bed's cut up, spindles and axles are changed out to put in the drop springs. And then we're gonna build kind of the tubs and the bed around it. And then I also wanted to go with a uh, disc brake setup in all four corners as well. So there's, there's plenty of ideas. There's a lot of uh, projects with that truck that we're looking at doing. So it'll be, there'll be a lot of videos on this stuff. I'm really hoping that, you know, with all the stuff that we're doing with this truck, I'm going in kind of blind, you know, I've never done a, uh, vehicle build to this extent most of the things most things i build are just dual sports dirt bikes stuff like that nothing this extensive so i'm learning a lot along the way um i mean i work on semis <laughs> so this stuff is all completely foreign to me but i got tools i got an idea and we're gonna make it happen so I say that this is the main project, um, and that's because I I like toys. I buy a lot of stupid shit, and I can't really ever leave anything alone. So we also got a brand new 2022 uh, KLX 110L I'll also be working on because I like my dirt bikes. I'm not good at riding them, but I like them. I like working on them and shit, so there will be another video posted both between TikTok and YouTube very soon. Um, I've got a BBR pipe coming in for that. It's a brand new pipe that nobody really has videos on. So I wanted to try and hop on that and be one of the first people to post a video about it. Now that thing still has a stock bore, stock head, stock displacement. Um, that'll change soon. It's gonna end up going to 143 with a race head on it just to wake it up a little bit. And then I also daily a uh, 2014 Sierra 1500. And there's not gonna be so much as far as building goes in that truck. <laughs> Honestly, it's more of just fixing factory issues with it. Um, I know for sure I'll be doing the updated uh, transmission lines and thermostat on that soon because I got an overheating issue with the transmission and then me and the old man have also been talking about doing HP tuners and kind of helping reduce some of the issues with that transmission. And there might be engine work eventually on it if I ever have a hydraulic lifter fail on me, but let's just cross our fingers and hope that that doesn't happen. <laughs> so that's kind of the introductory to the channel, kind of tell you what we're about um, and what we got going on. Projects will continue making progress as long as we have spare money. Um, I don't make a whole lot of money. I got, you know, full-time job. 
and I'm trying to work on a little side project to bring in extra cash and hopefully YouTube and TikTok can help pitch in if we gain enough of a following with the work that's being done. I'm going to try and make production of these videos look a lot better so then it's more enjoyable for other people to watch. Uh, but right now I'm pretty much just working with the cell phone. <laughs> so I guess to wrap off the video, I'll add a couple clips of the C10 running. Maybe it'll get some people all hot and bothered. So enjoy.